All right. Now we got two rounds here that I made up. Material on both of them is about 11 thousandths thick. Now, this is no crimping. Just want to remind everybody. We're going to do a push and pull test. I have a force gauge here that's set to peak. So the highest pressure that you get, that's what it's going to read. And we'll go ahead and zero that out. You can see it's on pounds here. All right. Let's do our push test here. We'll put our projectile right here. We will take our caliper, wipe the faces off here, and... No, oh, come back. My projectile wanted to roll on me here. All right, let's do this here. So, we're at 1.138. All right. We're going to go for... 15 pounds first. All right, so it's at zero and we're almost touching here. Let's see if we can bring it down a little bit. All right, so we're at nine pounds. All right, 10, we'll go to 15 first. 15, all right, there we go. We're at 15, we'll bring that up. We'll put it right there. And we'll take it where we're at, 1.138 before. One point one three eight five. Oh, look at that! All right, so half a thousandth. Bigger, believe it or not. So, all right, we're at fifteen half a thousandth. You can cough and get a half a thousandth here. All right, so let's touch off again here. All right, so we're at fifteen. Let's go to twenty. All right, well, we went to 23. All right, let's see what happens at 23 here. We are at 1.1385. Okay, good. Let's go to 30 pounds. Again, there is no crimping on this. Let's go down here. We'll touch it off. We'll go to 30. 31.3, all right. Nope, come back here. All right. All right, so we moved at 30, what was that, 31.3. We had four and a half thousandths worth of movement. So we're gonna say about 30 pounds on our neck tension there with I'll have a material that's 11 thousandths thick at the neck here. So we'll put him there. All right, let's do the push test. So what I've done for the push test is Frank made up this nifty little holder and I modified a case in the back. So there's a big old hole. We'll zero that guy out. And we have a 3 16 dowel pin in there and you can see it's free floats. So that should not be causing any friction here. So let's do this here. Let's drop him out and get a measurement on him. This is going to be a pain, I can tell. All right. 1.14. All right. Put him in here. Put that up there. Right in there. All right. We'll go for... 20 pounds here. This is a push test. All right, there's 21. Where are we at? 1.14, we said. All right. Let's get him there. Stay. All right. All right. 1.139. One thousandth can be accounted to just holding this with one hand and again coughing. All right, let's put him back in here. But for no crimp, that's pretty darn good. That's with the FW Arms expander here. All right, let's go to 30 pounds. Let's see if we can get it to move here. All right. Now, in theory, the push test here, you should just have a peak because it's not going to get any tighter. 
because there's no taper like it would be if you went deeper in the case. All right. So we're at, we'll call that almost 30. I think that's fair. that out here. All right, there's that. Caliper. All right, 1.14, we're not moving. We go to 35 here next. Going to 35, all right, 36. All right. Tap him out. All right, stay. All right, let's do this here. 1.14 on the push. Put him back in here. It's just go to 45. If it goes to 45 and it doesn't move, I mean, honestly, what more do you guys want? Uh, there's no crimp in here again. All right, let's see here. So, let's go to... We might actually have to use the handle here. Okay, here we go. There's a little slip in my wheel there. All right, let's do this here. Going to... 40... Five. Oh, all right, there you go. 43 pounds. It slipped. Not too shabby. Please excuse the long video.